Good day everyone. Let's count these cars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. The numbers like 1, 2, 3 that are used for counting are called natural numbers. 0 is not included in the counting yet 0 is a very important and unique number in mathematics. Some natural numbers cannot be completely divided by any number except one and themselves. For example, two can be completely divided by one and two only. Similarly, 13 can be completely divided by 1 and 13 only. It means the numbers like 2 and 13 have only two factors. Such numbers are called prime numbers. is the smallest and the only even prime number because all the other even numbers can also be divided by 2 hence they will have at least 3 factors unlike the definition of prime numbers so what do we call the numbers which have at least three factors? Like 15, that can be completely divided by 1, 3, 5 and 15. Or 20, that can be completely divided by 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Such numbers are called composite numbers. The smallest composite number is 4. Number 1 is neither a composite nor a prime number. Number 1 can be completely divided by 1 only. So it has only one factor. Hence, it neither fits the definition of prime numbers nor composite numbers. Why prime numbers are called prime numbers? Every counting number after 1 is either a prime number or built by multiplying the prime numbers together. For example, 4 is equal to 2 times 2, 6 is equal to 2 times 3, 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, 15 is equal to 3 times 5, 14 is equal to 2 times 7 and 60 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. All the factors in the given examples are prime numbers. Prime numbers are therefore the first numbers that can be multiplied together to form all the other numbers. Hmm. Why are prime numbers important? Prime numbers can be multiplied together to form other natural numbers. It's not easy to find the prime factors of very large numbers. Therefore, the prime factors of very large numbers can be used to create secret codes. Such secret codes are used in credit cards to keep our money and information safe.
So now you know what prevents our cards from being hacked. Well, you can always thank the prime numbers for it. And thanks to you for learning with me today. Remember to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.